When faced with a secession movement that could have ripped the galaxy apart, the Republic needed to close ranks and regain the love of the people. But how did they do this? Now, the main subject of this video is going to be the Commission for the Protection of the Republic, or COMPOR as it was known as. This was created as a government-backed independent PR centre, made up of military officials, senators, and even Chancellor Palpatine himself. COMPOR was designed to promote Republic ideology and demonise the CIS. COMPOR had a great deal of resources at its disposal and designed many iconic pieces of propaganda throughout the war. They focused a lot on the clone army, they portrayed them as utterly loyal and brave heroes of the Republic. This in many ways humanised them, which will have added a human element to the war, unlike the droids which were just machines and could have easily been demonised. They also focused on CAS crimes for public fear. Grievous was mentioned in numerous pieces of propaganda, as many in the Republic were terrified of the Jedi butchering Kalish Warlord. Kompor was one of Chancellor Palpatine's most vocal supporters. They worshipped him through different medias. One of the most iconic pieces was the Do Not Bind His Hands poster. This was used to drum up support by giving Palpatine emergency powers so he'd be able to fight the war more freely. Ultimately, Kompor had a lot of strings to pull. Having members in very high places gave them sway in nearly all aspects of the Republic, and they could and would use this sway against numerous opponents. Ultimately, if you made an enemy of Kompor, you could kiss your career with the Republic goodbye. Interestingly enough, Kompor didn't have a great relationship with the Jedi Order. At first, they did create numerous pieces of propaganda with the Jedi, and they fully believed that they would be a vital tool. However, they were disappointed when the Jedi were cautious about the war, and they saw the Jedi's pursuit of peace as a sign of weakness. For this reason, many pieces of propaganda, such as Jedi Unite for Peace, were never actually published. It's for this reason why Kompor didn't really care about Order 66, and kind of saw the New Order as a good thing, especially considering their strong military ties. Kompor also targeted the galaxy's youth, creating SA Group, which was a youth pro-Republic group dedicated to teaching young adults and children Republic ideology. Ultimately, the Kompor headed a brilliant PR campaign for the Republic, and by doing this, they paved the way for Sidious' takeover. Without them, many would have refused his takeover, and would have likely stood up for the Jedi when they were wiped out. But what do you think of Kompor, and do you think they ran a good campaign? Thanks for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed this lore video. If so, please remember to like, share and sub, as it's really appreciated. I want to quickly apologise for the scarcity of videos in the last two weeks, it's currently deadline season at uni, so I've got my hands full for a bit. However, I am going to continue to try to get videos out for you as much as possible. But ultimately, thanks again for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed. Please remember to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy, and I'll see you next time.